guys, when they say NYSC will humble you, believe me, NYSC will really, really humble you because it did the same to me. Then I was thinking. <laughs> beautiful people how are you guys doing welcome to my youtube channel if today is your first time here kindly hit the red subscribe button down there and to all my returning subscribers you guys i just want to say thank you so much for always stopping by so you guys in this video i'll be telling you about my nyse experience and guys the reason why i decided to do this video is for those people that are here to go for nyse at least you learn from my experience or let me just say my story and also the good part and the bad part so that you don't fall victim to anything and you guys trust me i'll try as much as possible to make this video short because um, the story is too long and it's too choke but then we're going to try as much as possible to make it short so if this video is going to be useful to you just sit back relax and enjoy my story and trust me <laughs> it's an interesting one and you really really enjoy so enjoy sit back and enjoy Guys, when they say NYSC will humble you, believe me, NYSC will really, really humble you because it did the same to me. Then I was thinking that I was in soft skill, I was hard, nothing can push me, nothing can like make me go off my way. But then NYSC made me, I went off my way. So you guys, let me start from when I got my color plate up. When I, color, when I got my color plate up, although I schooled in the East, I finished from the East, so I uh, I printed out my call up um, later and hey, hold and behold, I saw Ogun State. Guys, Ogun State, this is a place that I've not been in my life before. So at first I was like, oh my god, how will I survive here in Ogun State? In fact, where is even Ogun State? In one Yoruba land. Almost like so many thoughts came to my head. Like I was like, I was so worried, funny enough. Like I was so worried, I was scared. I was just thinking, how will I survive here and there? And this place is a place I've not been to before. I don't even know where Ogun State is. Although people were telling me then that it was close to Lagos. Then immediately I tried to do relocation. Guys, do you know that I tried and tried to do relocation? It didn't work. Upon I had a link uh, and this link this man was working in nyc headquarters abuja so i went to i even went to the man's office that's for you to see how god really wanted me to go to open state i i went to the man's office at the headquarter here in abuja the man promised me the man they collected my my call up uh, number everything mom was like don't worry that the thing is going to change i was waiting 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 at the end of the day it didn't change so like my parents every other person they were like encouraging me that I should just go now it's not just for one year at least after one year i'll come back that's it people were just trying to encourage me and me myself i know myself like i know it's not always easy for me to adapt in a new environment especially where i don't know yoruba land Ogun state <sighs> Now, um, the, day, the day I was supposed to report to the camp, I did not report to the camp. So it was the next day, then I now set my journey to Ogun State. So I now went to the park, although there is no Ogun State mode to direct to Ogun State. So I had to go through Lagos. So I, went, so I entered Lagos bus. Which bus did I even use? I think it was Pitmas or so. So I, Pitmas, so I entered, I used Lagos. Um, I used peace mask to Lagos. So when we got to Shagamu, so I had to stop at Shagamu because uh, the NYC camp is at Shagamu. So I had to stop at Shagamu. Then I stopped at Shagamu. Then I had to like enter another cab that would take me directly to the NYC camp. And when we got to that junction, guys, in fact, people people noticed I was JJC because I would imagine me carrying my big bag. You know, everybody knew that I had or like hmm, if like this person a new face for um, this Shagamu. Then there was this lady that was selling NYSC stuff. Now let me tell you where the first ext extortion started. There was this lady that was selling NYSC stuff because if you are if you are going to that NYSC camp at Shagam, you must stop at that junction. So because of that, that lady now used that opportunity. So she was not selling NYSC things because you must stop at that junction. So when we got when I stopped at the junction, and I now saw like some people buying NYSC things like what they were using the camp. So me, I now went there. I I, I bought two buckets. I bought a um, sponge. Do you know that the normal price that they were selling all those things? That woman, she in fact she increased it like three times. Of the price just because she knows that we are jjc we don't know any amounts you uh, she call for you you will pay in fact at the end of the day when i got to know about that thing, i felt so sad because the extortion was just too much like imagine selling just you know these plastic buckets for for for, for two thousand like it was just too much but then that one is the first extortion then we had to take from that junction we have to take another bike to the main camp like the gate guys you know that the, the distance to that 
camp is not even far from that junction. But the bike man collected 1,005. See, when, when the man, when the bike man said 1,005, I was even thinking maybe it's like a distance. And I asked the bike man, hmm, okay, sure said this place is no far. The, man, the guy was like, hmm, there is another community. Like the guy was just making it look far, like look far. Do you understand? Then when we now got to, when we now got to the NYC gate, I was like, uh-uh, is it this place you collected 1,005? Guys, like, in fact, I was just angry. This is the second extortion. They were just collecting money. Open state people were just collecting money, excess money from, from us. I don't even know why. Because even other coppers too, they were also complaining the same. Um, so when we now got to the NYC orientation camp at Shagamu Ogun State, so we uh, we met some officials at the gates, all those soldiers, they now check our papers to do all this documentation before you enter the camp. Now let me give you another third extortion again. So when I got to the camp, then I noticed this Ogun State, I don't know if they are S coppers or maybe they are NYC officials, I don't know. So they were at this gate. Now, if you are going to NYC camp, make sure you go with your doctor's report. Because me, I didn't go with my doctor's report. So when I got to that gate, so they asked for the doctor's report. I was like, oh my God, I, I didn't come with it. So before you know it, one guy from one, I like, stayed in one corner, was like, I should pay 5,000 naira so that they can give me doctor's report. I was like, I looked at him, I was like, how? 5,000 for doctor's report. When obviously, when I even know that the doctor's report you're going to give me, not as if it's even the original one, oh, it's just fake and you're asking me for 5,000. I refuse to, I do not agree and pay. Immediately, I had to like ch um, chat my friend on WhatsApp because my friend on WhatsApp, he has a link. So I had to chat my friend. So my friend immediately, they just did it for me immediately, like ASAP because I was there. So immediately, they now did it. How much did they even do it for me? They did it for me 2,000. And mind you, somebody was asking for 5,000. Then immediately, they did it for me and they sent it to my phone, then I now showed them. Do you know that those people, they didn't even want to attend to me again because I did not do um, doctor's reports um, from them. They were not giving me attitude. They just kept me there. They were attending to other people. They just left me there. Uh, me, I just stood, I was just there patiently because me, me, I decided that I'm not going to have problem or even give problem to anybody because in this place, I don't know anybody. So I was just trying to act, to act nice. Do you get? So as they came to me, there, I was there. All I know is that I'm going to sleep in this camp because I don't know anywhere again to go to. So I was just there patiently before they were like, they now said, okay, they should see the doctor's report then. And I'll show them. They were the guy, one of the guys now looked at me, looked at me. Oh, yeah, all I know is I must enter this camp. Then before they now allow me to enter. Then when we now entered the camp, then I, I did my documentation. They gave us this piece of paper to, to for your bed, like to go and get to your bed and go. Then I assigned hostel. And now let me tell you something. Ogun State Camp, like is the best. You know they used to call they used to call Ogun State Camp five star camp. Guys, you see that name we didn't give that camp. Like it's worth it. At first before I went to that camp, I was like, gosh, only how would the environment be? Hope it's not going to look too dirty, you know, things like that. But guys, when I got went inside the camp, like the camp is so beautiful. Everything is there, very clean. Gosh, do you know that I even went with my mosquito net. I've not even opened my mosquito net because there, there was no mosquito in that camp. Ogun State Camp is let me just say like I give them nine over ten. No wonder they call that camp five star camp. Like almost the camp too makes sense. So we're there in the camp activities, activities almost the activities in August in uh, NYC camp is not here. You don't you people wake up very early in the morning. Every you have to go for parade. You have to do marching. And now let me tell you something. You know before I went to the camp, my some of my friends they advised me that I should try to be active in inside the camp so that if you're for if if you guys want to leave the camp for posting, so they can post you in a good place. So because of that, almost I was in everywhere. I was in OBS. I was doing matching, I was doing um, band, these people that plays band, as in, I was doing sanitation, guys, I was everywhere, I was friends with all those soldiers, like all those female soldiers that would come to the hostel to chase people out for parade or maybe for morning prayer, guys, I did everything just because I wanted a good posting, and, and so we're there for like three weeks, then I made friends, uh, You, of course you're going to make friends, um, even with the soldiers, I have the soldiers, some of them were even asking me for my wigs and, you know, things like that. Then at the end of, me particularly, I was so concerned about my posting because I don't want to go to village, I don't want to go to anywhere I will suffer. So sometimes I'll go and meet that soldier, so I'll be like, see you, at that please, or if you should help me, or I don't want to suffer, or if you should post me in a good place. So. And again, you guys, let me talk about NYSC, their food, the camp food. Hmm. For me, let me just say, for Shagam, Ogun State, their food, well, they ha we have our full time table and also the food, the meal tag. Let me just say their food was okay. Like it was okay because it's even the coppers, they are the ones cooking the food. For me, the food is okay. Sometimes they will cook what you like, sometimes they will cook what you don't like. And anytime they don't cook what you don't like, you go to mommy market. And guys, make I tell you, 
if you are if you are having the mindset that you're going to eat in mami market your money will finish because mami market is very expensive when i mean expensive i mean extraordinary expensive so what, what i used to do then is like anything that they cook i like i will eat i'll just manage i'll just close eyes and eat it but anyone anyone that they cook that I don't, in fact i cannot even manage that is when you see me go to mami market and in that mami market you will see in fact you'll be tempted to spend money because there are so many things there in fact they sell literally everything there like do you understand so and um, in fact, when NYC camp, my camp, Shagam, like it was fun. I enjoy everything. In the evening, we used to do shout outs. Um, and also, I don't know, in, in, in Shagam camp, there's speaker. There's all these big, big speakers um, all over the place. Evening time, they're always playing music. Oh my god, like, ah, almost Shagam camp. Like, I give it to them. No wonder they call that camp five star camp. That place makes sense. Like, I enjoyed it. So, we're there for like the three, the three weeks and also for the matching, the parade. And you guys, my platoon, I was in platoon one, I was in platoon three. Yeah, I was in platoon three and I, I matched. I was among the people that did the matching competition. And guess you guys, my platoon took second. <laughs> I was so happy, seriously. I'll, I'm going to attach that picture to them. Oh. On this video i was so happy that day like we took second if you have to see the effort we put in that matching god oh my god because i was even surprised with that when they called us for uh second position because i was thinking we we're doing nonsense i thought we were doing rubbish i didn't even know we we're even doing it right like somebody like me i didn't even know i was doing it right because that was the first time of me matching actually but we took second anyway then were there, were there, were there activities? Miss NYSC, Mr. NYSC, Mr. Mancho, um, Big Bold and Beautiful, you know, thing, all those contests. Like, if you ask me literally, NYSC is for like very, it's for depending on your camp. Now, I'm talking about my own camp, Shagam, Open State. Oh, that can make sense. I'm telling you, go there and thank me later. Then, then we're there for three weeks. Then it was the day for posting. My, guess what, you guys? My posting later came and I was posted to Ota. And Otta is very, very close to Lagos. When I mean very, in fact, it's a town. When I saw Otta, like, I was so happy because it's, in fact, Otta is town. Very close to, from Otta to Lagos, it's just like 500, like, very close to Lagos. Unlike some of my, some of my friends that was posted to all these villages, 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 you know, do you, as in, in fact, some, some of my friends, and the PPA that they sent me to, although my PPA was, I was posted to a school. But then the school was, let me just say, the school was stressful because they were using us. If you are, if you are if you are waiting for your posting, let me tell you something. For your posting, in fact, uh, be rest assured that you, you are going to be posted to a school because half of us they posted it to, to a school. And now when we when I got because I had to if, after the camp I reported to my PPA. So I went to the school. The, the school they gave us accommodation and and they agreed to pay us twenty thousand. But instead of twenty thousand, they said they'll pay us. Almost they stressed the hell out of us. Like they literally stressed the hell out of us. There was no difference between we. Uh, coppers than, than the teachers. We're doing everything. In fact, we're even doing more. And ah, Omo, it was it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy at all. That was how we were there going for CDS and you know and all that. And you guys and my P, my POP was last year this last year December. That was this December third that we just crossed to 2014. So that was when I I passed out. So I just want to thank God for everything. Like I was able to conquer. At first I was scared. I was like, can I do this? Can I do this? So you guys, if you're watching this video and you're yet to um, go for NYC, make sure you watch the complete video of this, my video. And also, if, if you see Ogun State in your Ogun State camp, in your posting letter, don't reject it. The camp makes sense. Ogun State camp is very nice. You really, really enjoy it. So guys, I'm going to stop here because I know my this video is, is already long. Although I was trying not for it not to be long, but it's already long. But guys, I'm going to stop here for now. See you in my next video.